Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Junomi America. Today, I'm going to show you our lettering or text tab. So let's get started. I'm going to open a new page, and then on the left side, I'll find the lettering tab right here. It has two parts, the text tab and monogram. We'll work with text today. When you click on it, it opens the text toolbox at the top and it puts the cursor in the center of your hoop. You can click anywhere in your hoop or outside your hoop if you wanted to, to start your letters in that spot. In the text up here is where you would type your text. And in your typing, if you have made any mistakes, you can always go back, put your cursor up there, use your arrow keys, and you can delete things or add things back in. So you have that available to you. Below that are the fonts. And when you click in here, they are exposed. The XPG ones are the pre-digitized that come with your program. And the true type fonts are the ones that are preloaded into your computer. You can add true type fonts to your computer and use them here in Artistic Digitizer as well. There are some fonts called Dingbat fonts. These are little icons that your letters turn into, so you can use those as well in here. So you have lots of choices, but you must install a, an extra true type font into your computer. I'm gonna stay with the XPG fonts, but if you click in here and click again, you can use your mouse wheel and go through the fonts this way and look at all the different ways that your letters come out till you find the one that you like. I'm gonna stick with this one here. Go, moving across, we have the font size here. You can put a number in here or scroll up or down to change the font size, or you can um, close your toolbox, select all your letters and drag them larger, um, either off to the side or down. Next is the envelope. When you choose the envelope, these are preset shapes for your lettering. So I'm gonna open them here so you can see, and you can put them in here, and then you have the option of changing the values here, which will create the shape uh, to be different within that shape. Like here, if I want the center to be very large, I'm going to put a large number in my value right here. And then when you're done with envelope, if you don't want to use envelope, you can click here to say no envelope. Going further along, we have our placement. Right now we're horizontal. We can do uh, text on a line. And then you can drag this out here like this or on a segment and you can make it as long as you like. You can pull on either end of this. And then you have options here as to where those letters are going to go on that line. Maybe they'll be stretched out. Maybe you want them in the center. Maybe you want them uh, above the line or right on the line or even below the line. So you have those different options to you right here in the text toolbox when you choose on a segment. If we go back to horizontal, the other one that's in here is arc. When you select the arc, you have three handles and you can move the middle, the uh, right or the left one. And then you have your option here of text alignment. Maybe you want it to the left, maybe you want it centered, or maybe you want it spread out on that, on your arc. So you have that, those options within the on arc option. Going back to horizontal, the last one in this list is on user path. When I select that, I can then use my digitize outline shape tool and I can create my own path for my letters to go on. And then I will go ahead and select my letters again, go back to select the shape. I'm going to go right click and apply path. Now I see apply path here because I chose it before I got started. When I apply path, there it is. Go back to your text tab. Now you have those um, options of left or center. And then with the offset, you can move your letters along that line that way. So you can make some very creative things with our on user path. And that's five minutes at a time with Artistic Digitizer.